What happens to you when someone appreciates your accomplishments? Do you feel proud? Do you take credit for your successes? Now what happens to you when you fail? Do you take responsibility or do you look to blame someone else? Hey there, my name is Aparna. I'm a coach. Every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And I'm talking about relationship with others all this month. If you like such kind of videos, I'd appreciate if you following my YouTube channel or follow this page that you're watching this video right now. And hey, thank you so very much if you're doing that already. Blaming is a fine art of making someone else responsible for all the bad things that happen to us. Just browse through any social media handle and you see people blaming each other for something or the other. But why do we blame others? Is it because it's easy? Is it because you don't have to take responsibility for your actions? Or do we try to escape the situation and pass the guilt on to someone else? Or is it because we feel we are privileged to do it, like it's our right? Now I've been challenging this my whole life. Whenever I feel hurt or pain, my first response is to look for someone whom I can blame it on. But eventually I learned that it doesn't really go well. There's no point in me blaming someone else for my own actions. It's like I can fool others, but I can't really fool myself all the time, right? It's fascinating now to sit back and observe the feelings that pushed me to blame someone else. To me, blame came from the ego and pride. And you know what? If you cannot control it, it can make you feel like a victim all the time and suck you down that self-pity mood, which in turn damages your ego and pride that you're trying to protect in the first place. Blame also damages relationships. It's a vicious cycle that we need to protect ourselves from. So if you're ever in such a situation, whether you're being blamed or you want to blame someone, here's what you can do. First and foremost, take a deep breath. Pause. Try to calm the surge of feelings that are rising within you. Then you acknowledge the hostile feelings and try to think rationally about the situation. If you cannot deal with the feelings on your own, then try to talk about it to your partner, your best friend, your family member, anyone who can listen to you without judgment. You can also engage a coach like me for this. Then try to look at a bigger picture. What is it that you will gain from acting on this feeling? What is it that you will lose? And right now, what matters the most for you? And finally, you choose the path of humility. By admitting the truth to yourself, you will unconsciously avoid repeating this mistake. Humility always wins. for you. Have you ever blamed someone for something that happened to you? If yes, did it cost you? Do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so very much for watching. If you like this video and find it resourceful, do hit a like button, comment your feedback and of course share it with your friends or someone who you think need to hear this. I'll see you next week with another topic. Until then, take good care of yourself.